Um, yeah, I would like also to thank the organizers for uh, inviting me to talk and also for scheduling me to, be, to give a last talk today. So already Jerome defined work with spaces and uh, defect was discussed and so on. So probably it will be a little bit easier for me to. Uh, <coughs> okay. Now, uh, well, sort of small disclaimer. Uh, uh, most people who sp spoke here, they have few heads, but one of them is model theory. Now I also have few heads, Berkowitz, spaces and resolution, but neither of them is model theory, unfortunately. Uh, um, okay, uh, but valuation, uh, valuation rings are really important for both heads, uh, which I have. They do appear strongly both in uh, Berkowitz spaces and uh, in resolution of singularities in local aspects of both theories. So for applications, uh, it's important, uh, but I'm mainly motivated by applications of theory value fields to these two areas. Okay, so let me start with uh, introduction. Uh, okay, uh, so first of all, definition for uh, this talk, uh, analytic and analytic field is actually a real valued field, real valued. And uh, I use notation of absolute value and not of valuation. Uh, again, it's uh, uh, opposite to what was used here, but I'll mess up if, I, if I'll use valuation, so you should yeah, <laughs> make switch. Okay, uh, good. Now, uh, real valued and complete. Uh, and this is very important. So we only consider uh, complete fields, that is we only study extensions and then completions. So we, we uh, do not consider most of the talk, we do not consider anything which is not complete. Okay, uh, now extensions, obviously I just want extensions because I fixed my uh, um, group of values uh, inside uh, R. So extension is just anything which uh, extension of fields so that the absolute value extends. Okay, now examples uh, uh, which will be uh, maybe uh, already uh, uh, very relevant. Uh, I know you can take k of t uh, with trivially valued k, or let's say k0 of t. You can take algebraic closure and then completion of such guy, you can take QP, you can take CP, which is uh, QP, algebraic closure and completion. And, um, okay. Uh, now, a uh, fact, a uh, very simple fact is that uh, valuation extends uniquely from K to algebraic closure and completion. And because of this, the following definition actually makes sense. Uh, definition. Um, first of all, we call this guy, we call it uh, topologically, algebraically, uh, topologically algebraic uh, closure. And because uh, these two words will be often together in this talk, I'll call it top algebraic. <laughs> I was I could not invent better terms. So, okay. Uh, now using this top algebraic, we can give various uh, natural definitions, which uh, can immediately jump to mind. For example, uh, k over k. Extension of analytic uh, fields in this sense is called top algebraic if uh, k can be embedded into uh, algebraic closure completion. So it's algebraic up to topology. Yeah, it does not mean that algebraic clo uh, closure of k inside k capital will be closed. That's not true in general. Uh, it's close to be true, but not true in all cases. But uh, anyway, this just gives unique definition. Uh, we say that uh, an element t inside k is top algebraic over k 
if uh, what it generates, and again, it generates a complete field. So I take a field generated by t and then completion if such guy over k is top algebraic. Always, always. If I do not say anything else, then, yeah. Just here, obviously, when you just adjoin an element, it's not, so I complete, but, okay. The extension I consider to be preserving that to the That's what I said, yeah. I was lazy enough to, to write it down, and I have some limitations, but on board, but, yeah. And uh, also, we say that S inside K uh, is a set of top break. generators of k over k if once we uh, join them then the extension k capital of this guy is top algebraic and similarly we can define what does it mean to be top algebraically independent yeah, and s is called top algebraically independent if uh, any for any t inside s uh, t is not top algebraic over k and then we'll join s without t and complete so I just copy your Definitions of transcendental elements, transcendental algebraic independence, independence, whatever. Okay, and then we can say also that we have uh, what I call topological transcendence degree of k over k. Uh, this is the minimal number of uh, generators. So it will be uh, minimum uh, size of S, where S is uh, generating. S is top algebraically generating. This is one definition. Yeah, you will, will, will get to that, but no, not, uh, yeah, you, you'll have to be patient for half an hour, yeah, but <laughs> we'll get to it. So I'm not claiming. I, I'm not, not. <laughs> I don't claim, but there's no claim here, yeah, so far. <laughs> Topological transcendence degree is large T. Will be of K over K. Will be max. Not, uh, excuse me, it will be sub. I cannot prove max as is, by the way. It will be sub of uh, absolute value of S, where S is uh, independent is independent, top, top algebraically independent. Now you have two cardinalities. A priori you don't know anything about them. You don't know how to compare. So what uh, I'll say now is that in general they are not equal. Yeah, it answers your question. Yeah, it's sort of spoiler. Uh, let's say so, usually uh, uh, there are two modes how to give talks. You can give, give them as a detective, yeah, you know, you keep uh, public ignorant about what the answer will be as much as possible. Uh, typically, when the result is fresh, you, it's very tempting to do such a thing. Or you can do it completely, yeah, in regularly. I'll try to mix styles. So I, <laughs> I give you some spoiler. Uh, there are some problems, and one does have to uh, introduce two cardinals. In general, they're different, but uh, okay, what is true, what is wrong? We, <laughs> we will see in, in the sequel. Okay. Good. Uh, and now, uh, so just general question. Uh, does uh, the theory behaves nice? And the answer is... Uh, uh, mainly no, <laughs> but some positive results also will be discussed. Okay, well, uh, 
Uh, now motivation. Let me start with a motivation. Why uh, did I ask this question and what, what, what was my motivation? In fact, I have two um, uh, separate motivations. One from Berkowitz geometry and another was joint work with Kidlai. But yeah, uh, about tilting correspondence. Yeah. You say at the top, k of a little k stop the variety is contained in that way. After you say the definition of s in k stop the variety generated. Of generated of k over k small. Yes. This k now, large k, is not considered to be already in the algebraic condition of the algebraic condition. Isn't it? No, it Just means it, it, it implies that k capital will be in algebraic completion in k of s algebraic and then completion. Yeah? My question is in these definitions, large k is yes. always contained in no. our k. No. No. Because no. This is no. The no. no, 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 no. It was just, just first definition, but not, not uh, okay. Uh, okay, so motivation. So uh, first motivation is as follows. Uh, the following notion will be important. So I say that extension k over k is primitive if it is topologically generated by a single element. Okay, most natural definition. Now there are four types, which more or less were discussed by Jerome. So I will be very fast. So. Uh, Type one, uh, top algebraic. So it's sort of something, uh, yeah. T belongs to algebraic, uh, completed algebraic closure, okay. Type two, uh, what I denote E, uh, e uh, excuse me, F, K capital over K small, which is just transcendence degree of the residue field. Of k over k, it is one. Uh, three, e of k over k, which is just q rank of uh, the fraction of group of values, group of values of k over group of values of k small. This is one. And four, neither. Nor this, nor this, nor this. Okay, now, um, uh, so uh, in fact, these four types, they classify uh, uh, valuation, uh, primitive valuations. Uh, as Jerome explained, actually, they also classify points on Berkowitz curves uh, on A1, and in fact, the same also classifies on Berkowitz curves. One can ask, what happens for uh, Berkowitz AN? Can one classify points classification? of k equal kn equal to kt1 up to tn. So natural thing is to generate y by one and uh, count how many types do we have and say this is the type. So obviously when I started this uh, in work with geometry many years ago, I was sure that this thing should behave as you expect. Yeah, so n1 is the number of type one uh, among k i over k i minus one, where k i is just k of t one t i completed. And two is the number, you know, I'll write here, and j is the number of type j. Okay, okay and uh, now the question is, does uh, multi-type and one and two and three and four depend on choices of t1 up to t on the parameters. Is it invariant of extension or not? Uh, OK, once again, we agreed to make some spoilers from time to time, so I'll make a spoiler. The answer is as follows, n2, n3, yes, because we have good invariants which control them. And for these two invariants, one, one knows Steinitz lemma and all basic results. Yes, no. huh? yes. Ah, depend on choices. Yes means yes means you are positive. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> invariants and one and four, no, non-invariant. 
Moreover, N1 and 4 depend on the, not only just on choices of T1TN, they depend on the order of T1TN. And we will see that when we change order, these numbers change. Uh, so, okay, it's general uh, situation in Berkowitz with geometry where type 4 uh, is really bad. Yeah, you know. So, and uh, <laughs> this is one more illustration. Okay, uh, good. Now, uh, another uh, motivation was uh, the following. Uh, there is tilting correspondence. <laughs> Uh, from mixed characteristic, mixed car, uh, deeply ramified, ramified K goes to equal characteristic, characteristic P, uh, deeply ramified K tile. And the definition is that you take OK mod P OK. Frobenius is surjective on this guy. This is just by definition of deeply ramified. When you take inverse limit over x goes to x to p over Frobenius, and what you get is a ring of integers of the tile. Just recall definition for completeness. If you are not familiar, just, uh, just acknowledge that there is such a fun tour, and it's nice fun tour. It, 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 it induces, for example, isomorphism of Galois groups. OK, good. Now, uh, there is a question. Uh, so example, uh, if we take U up, which is deeply ramified, we apply tithe, then we get Fp of t to 1 over p infinity, just perfection of Fp of t. If we take algebraic closure of this, we get algebraic closure of this. So if we take Cp tithe, we get Fp T algebraic closure completion. So smallest algebraically closed complete field here gives smallest algebraically closed complete field here. And the question Q up. Ah, QP, QP. FP, yeah, in such case, yeah, you're absolutely right. In this case, it doesn't. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah. No, because, because, huh? Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, you. Okay, to be on. Now, uh, question. If tilt of K is this guy, is smallest possible one, is it true that K is CP? The most natural hypothesis, in a sense. Smallest thing here, smallest thing there. And we know the tilt is very fantorial guy. <sighs> OK. Now, this was a question by uh, Farc uh, Fontaine. Uh, this was a question by Farc Fontaine. Yeah. And the expectation, it was not conjecture. Expectation was that the answer is yes. And few good mathematicians gave uh, uh, fake uh, arguments why this is true. And they were accepted by other good mathematicians. So <laughs> I, guess, I guess indeed the expectation was that <laughs> this, should be, <laughs> this should be OK. Uh, now, uh, and yeah, I'll not write on board. I just, just say this is uh, the question actually related now to a very hot topic, uh, so called co the curve of Farc Fontaine, which is responsible probably for local angles correspondence. It's studied now very much, and points on this curve correspond to uh, untiles of this field. So the question was if all closed points on this curve have residue field isomorphic to CP or not. So it was so sort of, yeah. Okay, now Kidlam. Notice the following. Uh, the answer is yes, if and only if uh, fp of t completed any endomorphism. This is endomorphism. Yeah, this guy is endomorphism. If any such, any endomorphism, continuous endomorphism, yeah, 
endomorphism is phi is invertible. And in the usual algebraic theory, we definitely, by transcendence degree, we know that it should be invertible. Any such guy should be, uh, should be invertible. Now, uh, uh, but from uh, uh, more or less the same reason, same pathology that happens here, I knew that the answer should be no. There should be such a thing because topological transcendence degree behaves nastily. And then we indeed constructed examples. So uh, uh, constructed example. Hence the answer is no. Uh, okay. After we have constructed it. Uh, and uh, yeah, the funny thing is that <laughs> indeed it was a surprise to many people. Uh, we got an email from Matignon. And it turned out that uh, this claim is a theorem of Matignon reversat from 84. <laughs> <laughs> Just nobody knew. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, we still published our example too because it's easier than the example. It takes two, three pages. Not completely elementary. I'll talk a little bit about the example, but okay. So far about motivation. Uh, now let me uh, start the next section. So let's talk about pathologies. So I'll indicate how one constructs some bad examples for extensions of analytic fields. And after that, maybe I'll uh, I'll tell something about the positive side, yeah, what, 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 which results do hold. Uh, okay, so let me just uh, mention first of all uh, that uh, 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 even uh, a primitive, so let's say pathology A, uh, even a primitive extension k equal to k of t may contain an uh, infinite algebraic uh, extension L over k. <coughs> so in algebraic word, you, you have no chance to get such a thing. In topological, uh, for type one, this is really easy by Krasner lemma. For type four, one has to walk a little bit, but again, uh, four types, one four. Uh, types two and three are okay. Again, due to general situation, yeah. Uh, this was essentially known to Zariski. It's uh, for, for people who started to work on, uh, but for types one and four, you may have such. Huh? I, it's a little bit, yeah. That's, that's what for, for Taiwan, that, that's what written in, in my note. I want to keep time on this because it's a little, yeah. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, but you're right. For, 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 for Taiwan, really easy, anything. But for type four, it's a little bit more subtle. Still, you can get even deeply ramified extension inside type four. So even for type four, you can. Okay, let's, uh, the main. Uh, okay, now. We'll construct a tower L, uh, oh, let's say, okay, tower immediately. We'll construct L, which is generated by two elements, X and Y, uh, uh, such that X is top algebraic over k of y, but y is not top graph over k of x. And once you have this, you immediately get, uh, uh, I'll, I'll immediately explain, you get violation of uh, everything I mentioned. So, so this is the key. But y and x are not top over k. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you are absolutely right, yeah. But we construct, uh, 
uh, can take a uh, uh, can take k algebraically closed, you can take k trivially valued, you can take k equal fp, you can take uh, many different cases. No, no. For characteristic, it's, it's on positive side, but <laughs> yeah, let me puzzle you a little bit. Yeah, you'll get, uh, most probably you'll get answers, yeah, when, when we get to it, but okay. Uh, uh, good. Uh, so, um, um, uh, this pathology actually is equivalent, so I'll just reformulate so far. After that, I immediately start to explain how, how one tries to construct it. It's related to the following. First of all, we can take L over K, which is generated by uh, X and over K. We have three extensions. All of them are of type 4. And uh, uh, on the other side, L over K of Y, which I denote by F, is of type 1. This is just a reformulation. I, I prefer also to give names K and F to two intermediate guys. Now, this is equivalent to the following that. Uh, uh, topological degree of all three guys, L over K, L over K capital, K capital over K small, is 1. So it's non-additive. The guy is obviously not, a, not a topological transcendence degree, is not additive. Yeah, non-additive. And also, it's easy. Maybe I'll skip for now and the explanation, but it's easy to see that this also implies that uh, L is uh, isomorphic to K. L completed algebraic closure, isomorphic to K completed algebraic closure. And this guy is contained but not equal in L completed algebraic closure. And this gives you such an endomorphism. So this property says that the type 4 and 1 is not constant and depends on the order of generators. This property gives you, OK. Uh, now, how, how, can, how can one con construct such a, such a uh, thing? Ah, it's not good now. Maybe, maybe I'll erase here. Okay, so idea of the construction. Okay, uh, so see, um, it's uh, uh, surprisingly, it's relatively difficult uh, to detect when, when, e, when x lies in uh, algebraic in to, uh, y, when x is top algebraic over k of y. So we'll need to develop some criterion which can catch it and it will not be implicit. I'll not be able to say this is a sequence of elements, algebraic elements which converge to x. So we, we'll have to develop some invariant. And, uh, and the invariant will be uh, so uh, to show that x belongs uh, is top algebraic stop algebraic I uh, will use completed differentials uh, of uh, various extensions for example in this case of L over over F okay now just one word uh, so there is a usual uh, uh, model of differentials Keller differentials of L over F. This is huge module because extension is highly transcendental. 
Uh, so when we work with valued fields, we pretend that the guy is generated by a single element. Yeah, we work with completed things. So it's much better to complete uh, the guy. So first of all, I should explain what is the uh, norm here. So with a uh, semi-norm, so I, I will be able to complete. <laughs> now uh, we have a natural map from L to here, just differential L over F. It turns out that there is a minimal, minimal seminorm on omega L over F such that this differential is non-expanded. Non so it does not increase the absolute value. So just this is used as a definition to define uh, a norm here. And then once I get a norm, I can, I, I obtain a Banach space over L, and then I can complete. Not, excuse me, not Banach, just semi-norm, and then I complete. Now this map, the completion map, typically has, may have huge kernel. Uh, usually it kills a lot of elements. Because many elements here may have norm equal to zero. And we'll, we'll, we'll see how to. Uh, OK. Now a simple lemma says the following. Assume that uh, k equal to k of t over k is primitive. Uh, then the completed guy is generated by a single element dt, first of all. It behaves as we expect. It should be generated just by differential of the generator, as in algebraic case. And moreover, I can say why dt vanished and one, why, 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 when not. So in algebraic situation, if t is separable, algebraic and separable, then dt vanishes. Otherwise, it does not. So something similar happens here. But I can say that if type is 2, 3, 4, then dt does not vanish. Uh, let me just try here d with hat to denote uh, to denote the composition, the completed differential. OK. And uh, now I have a good criterion. I know that if d, d something vanishes, then we win. Then, then the guy must be top algebraic. Uh, now, just one remark. Uh, remark, lemma is really simple, just straightforward, as you should expect for such a thing. If it's correct, it should be uh, simple. And in fact, uh, the norm of dt equals to difference distance of uh, t minus a, where a is an element which is algebraic over a. So if t is not contained in the completion of k a, then this infimum is larger by 0, and we have just equality. Yes? Yeah. Yeah, sure, sure. If, if the tension is by the curve, then this is the correct norm that the I I I say this is correct for two, three, four. Ah. Even when it's small k, it's not just by Ah, uh, you know, well, okay, okay, let you know, you know, to be on safe side, okay, I, I agree. Let's let's say so. It's okay. To be on safe side, I put here inequality when it will be true. Yeah? OK. Uh, good. And now uh, uh, in this situation, OK, I still want to keep this. I, I apologize. Uh, and now uh, the idea is that. Uh, take any, start with any uh, uh, k of y 
over k. K of, uh, no, sorry, 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 k of x over k of type uh, 2, 3, 4. It does not matter. So, for example, you can take fp of t over fp. It's OK. Uh, this guy is trivial valued, but it's OK. And then find uh, uh, L, which is, uh, yeah, this is just k, for recall. L, which is k of y over k, such that, uh, yeah, by the way, just to recall here, uh, fp of x. Yes, that's fine with me. Yeah, I, I can start with non-trivial. It doesn't matter. And uh, you know, in work which you consider trivial and non-trivial, that's yeah. And uh, and now find this guy so wet uh, dx completed in L over k is zero. So kill the, uh, we, we know that here, by the lemma, d of x is non-zero. By fi finding stack extension, which behaves like inseparable extension. Extension which kills differential of concrete element. And then you win. And then automatically, this will force x to be top algebraic over, over k over. OK. And, uh, just concrete construction, uh, how it is done. Uh, so for example, uh, take, uh, uh, and this is uh, joint with Kilaya, uh, yeah. All this section two, it's, uh, I, I outline now solution, yeah, this, uh, with Kilaya. Uh, take the following. Take uh, uh, k over k, just as I wrote, fp of x over fp. And then take uh, the evaluation on y, uh, defined by as follows. y equal to, and I'll put here a uh, citation mark, equal to sum of x from i zero to infinity, x o to p minus i di, where uh, we have three conditions. Uh, p does not divide di. It's technical, non-essential. Uh, p inverse i di increase and tend to some c which is less than infinity so the these guys increase but are bounded uh, so this series it's not conversion in the usual sense it's uh, not Cauchy sequence it's pseudo Cauchy sequence but it's enough to define a valuation of type 4 here and um, the third condition the most critical one is that d i plus 1 minus p di 10 to infinity. It's, uh, I don't have any good reason why all this can be, why these two can be satisfied. This is obvious. Uh, just exercise for calculus 1, but OK. It turns out to be, if it would, no, wouldn't be possible, nothing would work, but, but it's possible. Uh, OK. And uh, now I'll just, just uh, very briefly explain why this condition kills uh, kill the x. Uh, so see, uh, evaluation is defined as follows. Uh, absolute value of y minus 
sum from uh, 0 to n x p minus i uh, di equal to absolute value of the next guy x to p minus n minus 1 uh, dn plus 1. This is just a way to define this valuation. OK, now let's take p to the n power. p to the n, p to the n, uh, n minus i, p to the n. I, I, I uh, assume, assume. Uh, ah, no, actually we are in characteristic p, but yeah. OK, J just to recall, uh, characteristic of k is p. We are in equal characteristic case. So we can just take p's powers, it's, it's OK. OK, now let's apply d. So when I apply d, I get all p's powers because of equal characteristic. So the only guy here which is not p's power is the last guy. It's uh, x. So here I get dx uh, to the power dn, which is just, uh, OK. It's dx times, uh, OK. And uh, on this side, I know that absolute value of this guy is less or equal than what is written here. x to p minus 1 times dn plus 1. And now you should just check. I'll, I'll skip the details, but now it's just one more line. It implies that absolute value of dx is less than some sequence which tends to zero. You get strong and strong, strong inequalities on, on uh, dx, on absolute value of dx. Now, uh, as you can see, I have no control on how x is related to y. I cannot give you any explicit uh, yeah, formula, but uh, there is invariant which controls the situation. There is, there is dx times times dn, which is not important. It's not divisible by n, times x to, to dn minus 1. And when you use this, and yeah. OK. Uh, well, uh, now, it's not the only way. There are something similar, but it's always something. Sort. Yes, I can give a mischaracteristic, but not, yeah. Maybe after the talk. OK. Uh, maybe I'll just uh, have to say. Uh, one remark, because this part now will be skipped for sure. Uh, uh, in a sense, uh, we take L over K, uh, which is uh, very ramified. And then the look in algebraic geometry would be to take inseparable extension. This is the only way to kill dx in L. Here we take some extension with infinite different, and this is what kills, uh, kills x in. OK, good. Now let me discuss positive side, and yeah. What can be said on uh, the positive side? Yeah, and this is uh, w w this was my sequel of the work with uh, uh, Kilai, and my motivation was to understand. And now I know that uh, k of t break closure completion can be embedded uh, non, non equivalent to k of you know x break closure completion, and uh, you can ask, can I find here two two elements which are topographically independent? Is there any any? Yeah, you know, for example. Uh, for free groups, you can take free groups on free elements and embed it into, yeah, so how bad the situation is. 
And uh, here the theorem is that actually there is something positive. Uh, uh, topological transcendence degree of k over k is less or equal than topological transcendence degree of k over k. So you, can, you cannot find here two elements. For any pair, one will depend on the other. You wrote the same thing twice. Huh? Small and capital, oh. yeah? And, uh, <laughs> and uh, this is uh, the number of uh, independent guys, and this is number of generators. Yeah, so. Huh? Indeed? Ah, no, no, no. Uh, just a minute. So, this is minimal number of generators and uh, uh, <laughs> 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 uh, and this is always. What? Huh? This happen. This always. 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 This is true always. This, this huh? Now, now, now let, me, let me explain uh, the, the, the argument here. When they are equal. When they are equal, yeah. Now, argument. It turns out that. I cannot do it with, uh, by use of uh, differentials. And sim similar thing happens for algebraic extensions. You cannot control, for example, perfect extensions in characteristic P by differentials. So uh, if extensions are not of finite type, differentials would not work for you. But there is a simple ar argument which is a little bit reminiscent of Steinitz's lemma, not completely, uh, which uses uh, deformations. Uh, so uh, argument, uh, so simple lemma. Says the following. Uh, if we are given some uh, k of t completed inside k, let's call this guy, uh, OK, whatever. And absolute value and uh, t prime is another element of k, such that t minus t prime is less, yeah, and I assume that this guy is type 2, 3, 4, over k small, and assume that this is less than absolute value, than infimum over c in k algebraic closure of absolute value t minus c. So assume that these elements are closer than you can feel by any element in k. Then uh, k of t is isomorphic to k of t prime when extensions are just as analytic fields. And this is, this is very ju ju just very simple computation. Good, and uh, it follows that if s inside k is topographically independent, then the same, the same let's say k of s is the same as k of s prime for s closed enough to s prime. Just by transfinite, transfinite induction, you immediately get such a thing. And now I say that, OK, assume that, assume that s inside k is independent and t inside k is generating. That is, uh, k is contained in k of t algebraic closure completion. OK? Then, a small deformation. 
S prime of S can land already lands in K of T algebraic closure in the dense subfield of because K T algebraic closure is dense. And this implies that uh, cardinality of S prime is less or equal than cardinality of T by usual theory of transcendental extensions. You, you, you do it by transfinite induction. You, you, you change one, one, one elements one by one, but you... you but if you change the first one, you don't know that the next is, uh, is, is still independent of... If you are close enough, it's, uh, you, 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 you take not with respect to T, you take, you deform each of them with respect to the field generated by all the rest. Then again, I wanted to, to cheat a little, not to cheat, but just to, to hide some details, yeah, but <laughs> just, uh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, and uh, uh, this proves what, what I call main inequality, and uh, in particular, it implies that all subfields of this guy, and there are many subfields, were linearly ordered by by inclusion. There, it's, it's yeah, it means that there is some interesting structure inside, uh, which I, I I I have no idea what it can be. Probably there are some partial invariants which describe this. Now, just last thing which I want to say, yeah, and uh, so I finish, yeah. S is one variable. Huh? S is one variable. Only for one variable. Otherwise, so, yeah. But, uh, you know, once, once you find such counterexample, you start to be suspicious for everything, yeah? So, so. <laughs> yeah? Okay. So, just last thing. Uh, if uh, characteristic, residue characteristic, is zero, then transcendence, uh, topological transcendence degree <coughs> equals to topological transcendence degree and it is additive. So all these examples which involve wild ramification cannot happen and your way to prove it is by, is by using uh, differentials. In, in fact, just last. Uh, word, in fact, S inside K is generating, top algebraically generating. If DS topologically generates omega of K over K. So just as in characteristic zero, uh, Algebraic theory, transcendence degree is completely controlled by differentials. The same happens here. And one uses that uh, the kernel of some maps in exact sequence. Uh, yeah. There is no H1 in this. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, thank you for your attention. Yeah.